Hello Capricorn, and welcome to Blunt Saji Tarot. My name is Robin, and today we're going to do your love reading for the next couple weeks. We're just going to find out what's coming towards you, what you can expect. I want to say happy birthday, and if um, you want to check out my birthday readings, I am holding a contest for a free tarot reading if it is your birthday. So you just got to like, comment, and subscribe on the birthday readings, and you can get a free birthday present from me. So... Capricorn, let's get into your reading. Let's find out what's coming in love. So please keep in mind it is a general reading, so take what resonates. Wedding. This situation involves a marriage and worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life. Let's see what this is all about. So what I was saying <laughs> is that this is a general reading, so take what resonates. Leave the messages that do not, but let's find out what this is all about. So what's going on here for Capricorn for love? Let's talk to us. What are they experiencing? What can they expect? What do you want to say? What is this situation? So we have the Four of Swords. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. We have the Strength in reverse. We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Well, this is kind of a somber reading a little bit. I feel like um, whoever this reading is for, this is somebody that is in a marriage and I feel like you're having some issues within your marriage and there's the fool. What's the biggest obstacle? Show us the obstacle. Four of cups and the lesson. Death and rebirth. Oh, that's not even on the card. That's not even on the camera. Sorry about that. Let's get those right there. Okay. So let's get some clarity here. What's going on? So four of swords in reverse. What do you want to say about this for Capricorn? Give us a little bit of history with the wheel of fortune in reverse. So the ten of wands I feel like um, a message, so the page of wands, so something was said, something, ooh. so this wedding, this relationship, this marriage, you know, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to be married, just be long term, right, if you're living together for a year, that's common law marry, right, so it's just a long term relationship here, um, and I feel like there's a burden, you've been working through the burden though, you've been trying to make it through, you've been carrying a weight on your shoulders, um, some kind of message came in here. Something was said. I don't feel like it was like a message. I feel like something was said and it really knocked the relationship off balance. It really took the wind out of your sail, which is really strange. I don't never say that expression, but I feel like that's what it did to you. But you're, and, um, it hurt you and you're, you don't think it was fair. Um, you don't understand why this burden was there. Um, and things were not, you just feel like it was bad luck. Like things, what do you want to say about this wheel of fortune in reverse, the nine of wands in reverse? Um, yeah, you didn't, you just, you didn't like what they said to you, to you, uh, Capricorn. So whatever this person said, it was probably in the heat of the moment. They could have been, um, could have been a fire sign. You could have been dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. And I feel like in the heat of the moment or in an argument you were having, some things were said. And the thing is, once you say them, you can't take them back. So the Nine of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. And I really feel like it knocked the, the relationship off balance. It really, like, so this is your past. Um, so I feel like you're at this, you're trying to make the choice. I feel like you're definitely, number one, I feel like you're guarded. See all these sort. oh, sorry. I'm, not, I'm trying to, I got a new camera set up, so I got to get used to it. Sorry about that, Cappy. So see all these swords. I feel like these are obstacles, but I also feel like they're like a little wall that you've built around yourself. I feel like you're very guarded. You're very protecting yourself. Um... And you're trying to create a balance. You see how these two pentacles are balanced and they have the infinity sign around them, right? Because there's infinite potential to create this balance, but I'm really drawn to the rockiness here. So those words that were said to you, they cannot be taken back. But this person, what is this strength in reverse? I feel like it's going to take you a lot of courage. Um, there's that ten of rods. It's a big burden for you. It, Yeah, I... I feel like you're leaving this this relationship, Capricorn. What is this? The Knight of Wands. It's unreliable. This person was unreliable, and you don't want to be in this commitment anymore. And it's um, but I feel like at the same time they're kind of they're your weakness. They know how to pull on your heartstrings. They know how to um, you love them. You've been with them for a long time, um, but you don't want to commit. I feel like there's a lot of inconsistency here. And there's just been, I feel like you were doing all the work. So if there was a conflict or a problem, it was you compromising, you initiating, you doing everything. They weren't doing anything. They were very inconsistent with their effort towards you. And ultimately, you don't want to work on this anymore. You want a new beginning. What do you want to say about the fool? Like, I feel like the biggest lesson here is, so with the death and rebirth and reverse is you can't change somebody. And I feel like you miss them. Your biggest obstacle is the four of cups. 
you miss them Capricorn but ultimately you can't change them and I feel like whatever happened are things that you can't accept um, and you also um, yeah so what do you want to say about this fool I feel is it this is what do you want to say about this fool before I say anything oh okay got the page of so there's strength in reverse again, the Ten of Swords and the Page of Swords. So I also feel like somebody sparked your curiosity here. So you have a new beginning on the horizon, the Fool. So and then we got the Page of Swords here, which is also um, communicating back and forth, messages, curiosity, um, excitedness, you know, the thrill. Um, so I do feel like there's someone that sparked your curiosity. You're watching them. Maybe they're watching you. Um, and that cycle of betrayal is over. So see how the swords are upside down they're going to be falling out so that's this person they could be a leo like yeah so they were a fire sign they could be a leo and they could have just been a very egotistical in their like a very unbalanced leo <laughs> like with every sign we're one way when we're balanced and we're one way when we're not right and an unbalanced leo will be very harsh with their words very straightforward very reactive so i feel like you could have also been dealing with the leo but that betrayal is gone and somebody else has sparked your interest. So who has sparked Capricorn's interest? Talk to us. Tell us about this person. The lover. It could be a Gemini. Oh, oh, this card wants to come out. Four of Wands. So we have the Two of Swords in reverse, the Lovers in reverse, and the Four of Wands. So you're not even, like, hesitating. You're just jumping right into this relationship. You are making the choice. Um, so you feel like there uh, as a real strong connection here. You feel like the twin. this is the card of Twin Flames. This is a soul connection. So um, they could be a Gemini, could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So it definitely could be a Gemini. And I feel like you um, are going to be having a lot of fun with them. You feel like at home with them. You feel comfortable with them. You feel like you can make yourself vulnerable and they're not going to stab you in the back and betray you. And um, you guys are going to have fun. The Four of Wands is also celebration and happiness, right? So you got something special coming in. So... This person did you wrong, and I feel like you're having a hard time forgetting about them, but ultimately, you can't change them, and something better is coming for you. We'll find out the outcome of that, where it is in about a month from now, but before we do that, Capricorn, let's get some oracle messages. So, what does Capricorn have to surrender to as they transition into this new, whoa, with this new person here, this person that sparked their curiosity? Surrender to your full power. There's that line again. So your life is calling for you to step into your power rather than playing it small. Don't underestimate who you are and what you can do. So, copy, copy, copy. Let's get your or energy or message. Whoa. What would you like to say to Capricorn, please? What would you like to say to Capricorn? We got two. Hostilities and indecision. Um absolutely i feel like this is within yourself so card number 26 card number eight i feel like when you meet this person you are going to be scared you're going to be hesitant because you went through this and you're going to be decisive you're going to be what what path should i choose i feel like the hostilities is within yourself like i'm being drawn to that little i don't know what that is but i feel like that's your shadow self within yourself not allowing you to be happy isn't that so strange but that is what i'm picking up from that that's what i want to say so I feel like you might be preventing yourself from being happy. And that's the message that's there for you, Capricorn. Don't be hostile towards yourself. You know what I mean? Take those leaps of faith. If it doesn't work out, it's better to have loved and lost and never loved at all. I keep saying it. So I know that your heart got hurt. And I know that you can't change people. Just don't rush in. And I feel like that's the message here is don't wait too long. Like, um, get to know this person. But you don't have to rush in and commit and, you know, be in a marriage within a month, right? Just take your time. Um, and don't be so hostile with yourself. Love yourself and know that you are worth it. Slay that demon. See how a sword's kind of right above it? I feel like you're like, Chah. slay that demon within yourself. Slay those doubts and those fears because they're only going to hold you back and prevent you from getting what you want. And ultimately, only you can make yourself happy, right? So talk to us. Show us um, where is this going to be for Capricorn in about a month from now with this new person. Show us. What do you want to say? How is Capricorn going to be feeling with this person? Are they going to be together? Are they going to be hanging out? Cappy going to cut them out? <laughs> what do you want to talk to us? Show us. Where, where are they going to be? Where does the situation stand? Well, 
it's not giving us any cards. Let me cut it and see if it'll give us something. All right, talk to us. Show us. There we go. It's got something to say now. <laughs> Six of Wands. You'll be victorious. But in what way? There they come. Jeez, that took a long time. That was kind of painful. Like pulling teeth from a baby. Or taking candy from a baby, I guess, is the... I got to get my phrases right. Okay. So we have the Six of Wands. We have the Hierophant in reverse, okay? For the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Six of Swords. <laughs> so it's kind of exactly what I said, which is, so Six of Wands is you're gonna give them your attention and they're gonna give you attention. This person's still around. But however, the Hierophant is in reverse. So you are not committed to this person, Capricorn. That's okay. Capricorns tend to be slow. I'm a Capricorn Venus. We don't always commit right away, right? Um, I feel like this person makes you happy. You're having fun. They have a lot of potential to be your happy ending, to be someone that you can see yourself with. There's a great new beginning here with unlimited potential. So the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Wands is unlimited potential, right? This person brings out, maybe they bring out the creative side in you. I'm seeing fire here. Maybe they really bring out that passion, right? The Ace of Wands for love is real passion, a lot of lust. A lot of attraction and 11 11 as I'm saying that so they could definitely be a twin flame but a lot of lust and attraction and this person makes you happy so you're dating you're having fun but you're not rushing forward so the six of swords in reverse you're not moving forwards um, too fast you are taking your time you're going slow um, it might feel a little stagnant to the other person but just be clear with your communication that you've been hurt in the past and you just want to take things slow and I think this person will be understanding of that because of this ace of wands they think you're sexy <laughs> they're gonna be patient with you they'll understand and if they want you they'll understand and they'll they'll um they'll be patient with you capricorn so definitely a lot of lust and a lot of passion in your future you're going to be giving them attention and they're giving attention to you so let's get your healing message what do we want to say to capricorn about what message do you have oh you got two here cap learn and grow from wisdom of your feelings by allowing yourself to befriend rather than deny them. Interesting message. You are an I. Use this higher aspect of yourself to redeem your shadow aspects. Remember I was saying slay that shadow. I was really being drawn to that. So don't let those shadows control you. We all have shadows within ourselves, right? So don't forget to do some shadow work. If you don't know what that means, look it up. And if you don't care, then just ignore that message. It's for someone else. But I feel like there's definitely a message here about that shadow work. And that way you can enter this new relationship, having slain those demons, right? They're not affecting you anymore. You've, you've controlled that part of yourself. And that part of yourself does not control you. You're taking control. Capricorn, beautiful reading. So let's get your yes or no question. Don't forget, happy birthday. And if you're interested in a birthday reading, go, go check out the birthday readings. And like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll be giving away one of those. I think it's January 21st or 22nd. So the answer to your question, Capricorn, is no. So thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of luck. Happy birthday.